and welcome to new popper video. I'm playing today Blue White Car Gates that uh, is played by one of the best popper player I know, Tommaso Loss. So that must mean that this deck is still good. And I love Blue White Car Gates in the past. There's a new card in four copies, Thrab and Charm. It does it all, it destroys enchantment, it exiles graveyard, and it kills creatures. So what more can you ask? Allo Medic is another new card that you use as a, well, life gainer against the very popular Mono Red. If you remember my last Mono Red, my last Popper League, I played against four Mono Reds. So I guess this deck should be good against that. Two, two mana Allo Medic seems like a pretty powerful one. I would say the Sacred Cat is still better than it. I'm actually playing this. When I love the call gates in the past. Alright, this end isn't amazing, but uh, it has a couple of Thrub and Charm, so I'm excited to try this card out. Alright, the Motu 6. Modern Age is a great draw with two cards I'm happy to discard. Okay, they have the Nut Start. Cleansing Wildfire on the play. Grixis, interesting. When you play Modern Age, you really just want to discard cards that, uh, well, do something in the graveyard. Yeah, we played Commander earlier. It went well. We went 4-1. Uh, Lost the final. Very close match. Okay, now my opponent has obviously a bunch of choices. I th Sorry, I have a bunch of choices. I think he's going to play Heap Gate and Pass. If they do something, I counter. If they don't do anything, I make a Treasure. It's a card advantage engine. Wow. What's my opponent playing? I have no idea. They're on the play and play double cleansing while fires. I don't think I'm gonna win this game, but I'll fight. I can take this opportunity to, you know, learn more about their deck. Sorry for playing this art of Basis Gate. I didn't know it would automatically add it. I don't know what Puma is from, but it's a cool picture. Opponent plays pieces of the puzzle. Wait a minute. Who did I reveal? No idea of what my opponent deck is all about. They took Laura Revealed and Cleansing Ball Fire and Pass. Shababa, thank you for the raid. We're playing Pauper. Blue white car gates. Strife for pile, but in pauper. That's a reference that not that many people get. But I did. I did get it. I'll play Sacred Cat and pass it back to you. Do you have any thoughts on what to explore in Standard? No, I don't, but you can check out the podcast Competitive Magic with the Carnies. We talked about Bloom Borrow for Standard last episode. I don't play Standard, but my co-hosts uh, do, so they talked about that.
So I have no idea what Pun is all about. I will keep on not countering anything they do because it seems like not that impactful. It has five cards. Do I want to pump here? I guess. Cast into fire. I'll flash this back. And name red. Accumulated knowledge. Impressive. My opponent deck, honestly, they just can't do anything at this point. I'm not surprised. Accumulated knowledge. All right, I will accumulate treasures instead. Let's see what they do about this. And accumulating treasures makes me just tap out here for prismatic strands. And still hold up uh, double counter spell. I thought it has ran out of cards here. I mean, it's, it's slowly running out of cards. What's that? Green black. What are the storm? Okay, Remember, life gain sucks in magic. Evergreen rule. Life gain sucks. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. When has two cards in end? Domercia, it's coming up uh, today. The Mangus Workshop video. We had a problem. So it's coming up today. The um, the names on the title were wrong, so we are adjusting that. Plus, it came out a little bit low. So, we're just waiting today. Why is it called Cogates? Because we're playing with um, Gates. Oh, I, I forgot to pump. We're playing with Gates, and we're playing with uh, Squadron Arc. All these treasures. I got all these treasures. Galvanic Discharge. All right, I have no more cards in end. They have no more cards in end. Ox go call. Yeah, I don't, probably you don't know about this, but it was like an old deck in standard called Call Blades, which was playing that. Is it for my gate? Nah. I will let you do it. Remember chat, life gain is bad. Always remember that rule. The fact that I'm at 39 life is irrelevant. The fact that my opponent gains two life every turn or gain nine life here is irrelevant. 
nothing matters in life game world I feel like I played like three spells and I won this game. <laughs> the prismatic ending, the prismatic strands was insane. Uh, the deck list doesn't work because the um, MTG bot is down, but I took the list from Tommaso Loss at the tournament in Parma yesterday. A million people were there, like a hundred eight, a hundred thirty players for the popper tournament in Parma. All right, we got deep analysis. We got blue metal blasts. Dispel. I don't like dust to dust in this matchup. I'll take a holo medic. I guess I'm taking off the Robin Charm. Uh, probably is better than, than Journey. Hmm. Maybe I don't need Collision Honor Guard. Alright, I'll leave it one. You don't like Titan Blade? I can I guess you are a blue, black, Tolerant and terror player. That is super cool. I mean, it is. All right, keep. All right, what do I keep? I think called bottom strands. You play Ponza. I'm sorry, my mom told me to never talk to Ponza players. They are bad influence. You know the meme, don't talk to them, they're Ponza players? That one. You talk to Ponza player too much, you become like them. So you should try to never do it. Lore reveal, grab an island. Play a pass. What a stop in upkeep. I used to play cumulative knowledge when it was good. <laughs> oh, we lost. We lost the commander match, unfortunately. No trophy. No trophy. Go Lauren Revealed and grab an island. And then I can do the Brainstorm Squadron or Combo. Unless they counter it. Opponent seems like they can easily counter it. So we're gonna go to Modern Age versus a bait. Ooh, two mana draw two must be nice. I'm jealous. Hey. Unfortunately, they have counterspell mana up again. I gotta jam it. Please resolve. Please resolve. Alright, GG. We win. Well, okay. Go. Pieces of the puzzle. What do you reveal? Snuff out come man. No, come with the knowledge. Jeez, all right. I guess I can lose.
Are we missing lands that you do in this main phase? I didn't go land snuff out. Well, you did play land. Hmm. Weird. I guess you have to play snuff out at this point. Otherwise, you're discarding two. You're discarding two? Nah, this can't be right. Alright. Uh, if I go brainstorm, I only shuffle one off, so that's a mistake. Because we got a maximum value always. That's the life. If you don't maximum value, you're playing wrong. You gotta always maximum value. Actually, I only can, I only have to take one. <gasps> Unless, uh, check this out. I'll take two. And then I'll go to discard. That's powerful, huh? And I'll I'll go to discard and discard prismatic strands. It's very powerful play. We're a very powerful magician. Good day. It helps that my opponent does literally nothing, so it lets you just do all the things that you can do. Now it does in the graveyard. Pieces of the puzzle, Babine. Flurry of Horns? No way! Flurry of Horns! Is that how you win the game, opponent? Do you recur Flurry of Horns somehow? What did you take? Piece of all Flurry of Horns. Alright. Fire Ice, but you don't have red mana. Who did discard again? Man, play four colors in Popper. What a world. Fuma does like awful mana base. You play four color. <laughs> See? E che facciamo? Do I pump? Do I give it a little pump? Ma si dai, una piccola pompetta. Zig. What's that? Oh, fire ice. Va bene. One damage. I same Cybertron. You wrote something that uh, I had in my mind. This should be good, but actually, I don't know. I mean, I guess I should exile your graveyard now. This way you draw only one instead of four. But you're like eight cards anyway in end. I don't know, I feel like I played a solitary, I put it did nothing. What can I do? Very good day. Okay, new match on the play. Keep. I can either bottom lure um, gate or strands. I'm gonna bottom strands. Why is there an idyllic beachfront and not a third Azurus called guild gate? I will show you now. I will show you in this very, very, very thing game. Thanks to my lore revealed, I can grab it because it's a blue white land. When it's called Grimlova Mansor, they have to be mono red. Otherwise, they would be a disgrace with our name. Mono red is widely played on Magical Line. It's not too good or anything, it's just widely played. I wish I had uh, prismatic strands now.
I guess I could have guessed that by their name they were playing Mono Red. Should have kept that over Throbbing Cha, maybe. No, I don't think it's the same anywhere. I think in modern, you don't play against, uh, you play against, I don't know, competitive. I'm not saying the opponent isn't, that he isn't competitive. I'm just saying, uh, in Popper, Mona Red is widely played, but not because it's the best. Oh, you mean on Arena? Okay, sure. Yeah. I guess in the lower entry barrier that for um, games, Arena's free. Popper isn't free, but you know, cheap. All right, attack and block. Actually, no, no block. Yeah, no, no block. Sorry, I don't know why my 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 head told me to block. That this revealed only the stern, so they can just shock me now. Don't shock me now. Oh wow, you have that. So you actually go Galvanic Blast on Medic. Okay, draw a card. Very good. But I can't now throw and charm this. Anyway, let's go for the Modern Age. Draw. Keep Gate. Mm, I think I discard Buzz's Gate. Play this and pass. It's weird though, because like when the not best decks are popular, it feels like it's faking the metagame in leagues rather than on like challenges or tournaments. And again, I'm not saying this deck is bad, I'm just saying it's not, it shouldn't be as popular. Like, I'm probably losing this game, like... Okay... Prismatic Strands is strong... The revealed Goblin Blast Runner. I think I have to play this Prismatic Sprints despite it just reads the three mana game for life. I need to draw a cat now. Alright, it's still possible. I need to draw a cat now. Sacred cat now. I die. Alright, I have four blue mental blasts in the side. I have a... Uh... Counter spell to take out. What else? Seems like that's it. No remove soul. Nah, that's good. Maybe Throbbing Charm is not that good. Okay, my hand's great. The Throbbing Charm uh, will do something. Are there any good Bloomborough card for Pauper? I don't know, I didn't check this that much. We did an analysis for standard on the podcast. Usually, Aizen01 is a YouTube channel that analyzes the popper card of the new sets. 
How's the new matchup versus Blue Rivers Gates? No idea. I think it's always fine. These blue decks are fine against everything. You can just play and lose or win. There's nothing that you don't want to face, I think. Maybe Ponza. Maybe you don't want to face Ponza with this deck. Ah, don't stop me now. Voldaren Epicure. I'll just play Cat. I'll play the Modern Age later. First, I want to just make sure that I don't take too much damage from creatures. Okay, a risky cool dot a rebirth. When I can have a uh, spell peers or blue and blast also. And obviously, I take the trade. Relic. Oh no 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 no! Chiku 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 chiku! Ooh, thank God. Because I was in F8, in F, in F10, but thankfully, my opponent didn't tap this immediately, so I was able to click five, and cycle this in response. All right, let's play Modern Age. I just got a Scrum and Charm, which does not seem good in this matchup. Charm is also quite bad, but I think it's still better than Thriving Charm. Thriving Charm just seems like by far the worst card I can put <laughs> in the deck. What's in the side that I can replace it with? This spell probably is better, yeah. Okay, the play Bushwalker. Now deal me a lot of damage. That's fine. I'll block because I don't have the gate. The brainstorm. Okay, what can I do here? Hmm. I think not much. I'll just, I guess, cycle this one reveal, play a top land pass. Or I can play an untap land so that I have a. No, I'll play a top land. Yeah. So we have more gates for the buses gate on draw it. I guess also an untap land would have been a gate. Wait, I'm supposed to update the record here. More general people. Goblin Tomb Raider. Alright. I guess I'll uh, write out plus that. Blue Metal Blast that.
What was that, right on the bust? Sure. Pick five, down to ten. Then I cycle this, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I don't care about white mana, I already have two. Ooh, El Gato. Not bad. Let's play Collision Honor Guard. This is like the old school Spaz Guide. Emblem Guide. Doom, 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 doom. Not that many reasons to put the cards under the relic. Ooh, they flip Goblin Grenade. But they must target Honor Guard. And that's not bad. That's actually a very lucky flip. All right, they ended up grenading my honor guard. That wasn't a hard decision. And I guess I'm going to go just play my whole hand here. Just play my whole hand here and uh, yeah. Let's make a treasure and F six. Don't attack. Yeah, probably attack. You don't block. Okay. All right, we're trading. Trading damage against Mono Red is never a good idea. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked. But they like they draw bolt. They play bolt on my two three, and I just miss two damage, which might might end up matter. Mm -hmm. Take three, then eight. They have a blocker back. I need to draw something better than this. I'll hold the sea gate in the end. I just think it was a drop brainstorm, but I think I have to pass here. But I have three spells in the end. This game is over. GG. I didn't draw that well. That's okay. Should be, as I said, odd. Uh, you can you can never say that Mono Red is a good matchup, but it should be a good matchup. But then like you just fizzle a bit and they're so consistent. They always punish you for fizzling. Well they didn't block before because they didn't have one mana to craft the relic. Now they do. So if I attack and they block, they suck the relic in combat step. That's actually why I attacked last game, because they didn't have last turn, because they didn't have this up. Now they do. I forgot to make a treasure. And I drew a very good card. Spell. 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 I want to draw a spell. Or a land, but it has to be exactly Buzz's Gate. Invece nanta este merde, porca boia. Us. They have four cards in end. Don't 
Turns out that trading damage was not a good idea. Who would have thought? There was no way to play around it. Sure. So I take five, gain one, so I'm at six life here. Sorry, I meant to say four life. I should get to Fire Blast. Let's see if they play it. They do. All right. Mona Red wins again. Emblem variants. So if you're in for that type of experience, you can keep it. I think today I want to try and not do it. This is much better. I don't want to just bottom an island and just have like mono gates with my buzzer's gate. You do like kind of My curb was like turn three pump, turn four pump top land. I think it's a good play. Nobis Inspector. Let's just stick to the plan. Drain four. And then drain five. Mulligan to six on the play. Oh, okay, journey. That's annoying. We do have fourth rabbit charm though, so should be fine. Time to brainstorm. Ah, this is terrible. Terrible brainstorm. Rafine's informant. Ooh. Sky Prismatic Strand is not bad. Psycholorian. Looking for good cards. Uh yeah, why not? No, 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 no. Let's play this. And this next turn I can go double uh, pump. If this was protected from mono collar, I would have probably won the game. I guess they have prismatic strand, so I can't go off twice next turn. John Carr rewards you in the mirror match. They thrive and charmed it. Strong. I'll uh, attack for six. And I'll pass. So you have strands in the graveyard, so I can't go double. I don't even know what I want to counter. Maybe just the um, plus two, plus two. 
think I want to go brainstorm. I know it's a terrible moment to go brainstorm. Could have maybe done it in my turn. But the orc. Orc are very good in this matchup. Especially with the gates. I would say we win this game with this draw. You never know. Alora, I can go with just secret cat attack. They get they block, but I gain life. I don't think I want to gain life. If I play this, I don't have counter spell up. I don't know what card do I even want to counter. So I'm gonna play this and pass, I think. Yeah, bottle screech. I think I'm happy to spell pierce it. Surely you can flesh it back, that's fine. And then I can just pump a squadron arc attack. Eventually I'll, I'll, I'll win. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I don't eventually win. I don't think I should block. Yeah, not drawing land is definitely like a problem. You have three cards. I have counters, but they're pretty telegraphed at this point. I'll block a bird, take the rest. You have three cards in hand, you have strands in the graveyard, but no creature to pay for it. I think I'll go counter spell. If you have quite an knock, you can't flesh it back. Sorry, I meant to say battle screech. If I like, if they just play Thraben, no, I wish you have uh, not countered. Didn't have to go battle screech is annoying. I could have just countered it. Oh wow! Guess I just win. They just leave a bird back. It's much better. Can they gain one life somehow? Maybe. Oh, Throb and Charm. Yeah, they just leave one bird back. This is a totally different game. Popper's too hard. Alright, what now? This is bad. Pushing on a guard? I think it's bad. A lot of remove soul. Do I think carrot cake may be played? I don't know what that is, but I can Google it. Carrot the cake. Two mana. And this buff, you may sacrifice it. Oh no, when it was an animal sacrifice to make it one more rabbit. And square it one. Sacrifice so again three life. No. Okay. 
Okay, the multi six and start that way. Very happy with the modern age draw. Novice Inspector. All right, let's go for the modern age. Very powerful here, I think. I can start discarding those uh, secret uh, cat and then bring them back for value. Wow, Thraven Charm. Sure. I didn't think about that. I would have loved to activate the modern age there. Okay, I don't have a good play here. I think I'm just gonna play Heatgate Pass and make a cut. Oh, sorry, I have treasure. I think it's better than just farming cats. Is a treasure from Heatgate is forever. A cat? It's not forever. It can die. If you don't make a treasure this turn, it's gone. The cat is still there. Ah, that's so good. I'm jealous of your card there. Wish I had counterspell for it. Or a move soul. If I can draw another Modern Age or Brainstorm, that's such a bad card to draw now. Oh, yeah, 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 I think we lose. I go Cat and Pass. Maybe I could have gone cat plus Robin Charm here in my turn. Okay. I got a 10, I can't block anything. No, I have to tap like this. Wait. Okay. What do you do? Wow. Playing around my sacred cat into Thrub and Charm play. Land is way too weak to cast anything. I have to draw three. Okay, love the medic. It can't get me out of this game. Of course, you have all the clues. Yeah, the medic is a great draw. Standard bearer, huh? Okay, very important card against me. But it looks like you can't answer the medic. Now, I can't pump my gate. I have to pump this first. But obviously, this dice the removal, which I have plentiful. All right, I think the best play here is simply pass and go to discard of uh, prismatic strands. I think it's very important that I do that because I don't have a window to do it. 
in the future if I start casting cards. And once this is in the graveyard, it's basically like a Black Lotus. Alright, so upkeep, I wanna go um Rub and Charm here. Wow. This is a problem. I guess if you're naming white, though. If you're naming white, though, you're not attacking me. Hmm. But Spell Pierce doesn't really find the target, otherwise. I think I'm gonna do a Spell Pierce this. You'll more most likely flush this back, and that way I traded Spell Pierce for a card. I know it's half a card, but it, it's a card. It's just a good card. Yeah. So I'm just gonna let it resolve. I don't take damage. But then I also don't... Sorry, this doesn't die. I also don't take damage from Core Sky Fisher. And basta, that's the counter spell, porca boia. Allora. What next? Now I can go Trub and Charm and pump the gate. Pump the automatic. No, not it's bad. What's my player? It's hard. Hmm. All right, let's start with Throb and Charm. On the, I guess Throb and Charm pass as my player. Yeah. And I pass. I can just make a a token or play counter spell. Battle Screech, eh, that's very good. Although I have to counterspell this. And then you flash it back. Eh, but then you don't attack at least. This game is tough, my prismatic strength in the graveyard will definitely help me. Can gain five by attacking, but it didn't just attack me back, so I don't think it's good. Charm and charm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a great draw. Okay, so let's go. Uh Sacred Cat. Ribbon Charm on the course get Fisher. No, I don't have a um, counter spell up, but it's fine. I have prismatic strands up. I'm actually attacking here, right? Does it make sense to attack? So if I attack, I get an 8. If they attack me back, I guess I can trade here. I'm happy. Am I happy to trade here? Yeah, I'm probably happy to trade here. I don't know, though. You got a flyer. Hmm. But I can't replay it from the graveyard, so probably it's fine. What are you doing there? Six mana? Kikatsue. Ah! <gasps> Eagles of the North? Jeez. All right. Okay, just a 3-3, three, three. it's like, first guy Fisher. Draw, hmm, Lorena revealed, I must cast this. If one card, I hope you don't have much. Of course, I'm dead to the plus two, plus two flyers, plus two, plus two white cards, but not much I could have done about it. I had to draw three there. Okay, so Kuska Fisher brings back Novus. Obviously, very good play because they don't have flyers, so those flyers are very annoying. Andrew Militia Bugler. Okay, what did you get? Throw an inspector again. Alright, I take five, down to three. I'm not dead bored. 
I also gain some life, but I don't have mana to do all those things. What move, so... Alright, uh, well, I definitely have to go Prismatic Strands. I guess my play can be this turn, just pump my Medic Attack and then Prismatic Strands. Yeah. I'll do that. Pepe Puertas, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the stream. It's gonna be the last game, and then I'll finish the league uh, next time on stream. But obviously on YouTube, it will be all in one single video, just like all the time. One on attacks, we go prismatic strands. Blanco. Novice. Okay. You gain life, but again, as I said at the beginning, life gain doesn't matter. It's all about uh, surviving here. You get back Bugler, what do you get back? You go back three, Ben. Okay, so you recast it. <gasps> you don't recast it. I see. All right. What next? I'm at nine. I can go journey. You know, kind of wanna, kind of wanna just, kind of wanna just pump twice and attack with both. I can't do that, then I can't flashback. Maybe I don't care to flashback. If I attack with both, I'm gaining 12. I guess if I gain 12, I might be I might die to. Yeah, no, the fact that I'm dying to the um, plus two plus two makes me scared. Yeah, the Mangus Workshop video will be out tonight. That was a mistake. We took it down. We're going to bring it back 9 p.m. today. I should have tapped differently. I should have left up Island. Just in case opponent like team blocks the secret cat. Not that they would. I think I have the the game to win, but Militia Bugler. I'll counter it. I know they have a Thrabin in end. Yeah, I think they have a Thrabin in end. It's likely weaker than Militia Bugler. Not hundred percent weaker. Anyway, if they just have with a flyer, I might just take it. How much damage it is? Alright, that attack is weird. I guess it's not that weird. Anyway, uh this is what? Quattro otto nove. It's okay. I don't want to use uh, prismatic strands. I'll go to six. Yeah, that's fine. Robin? I'll just have six. And Throbin? No, I cracked a clue. Okay, you have two cards. And Throbin, okay. You have one card. I definitely need to keep up counter spell. I guess that's not true. I don't need to keep up counter spell if I prismatic strands up. Hmm. Alright. There's not too much I can do here, so. What if I pump twice? No, I think pumping twice is not a good idea. Maybe it is. I mean, I'm just gaining, like... I'm just gaining, like... I'm gaining 13. It's like as much damage as they deal me. I 
And like if I'm not gonna play the I'm not gonna play the prismatic strand, so if they don't play the their pump spell, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use it. Wow, they didn't even chum block. Yeah, this land is so sick. Cross his gate. Like they're looking for to draw standard bearer so they stop my my thing. I don't know how many sided in of that. It's definitely a good card. They just attack with all here and I just block and take it. I didn't do the math, but I'm not dead and that's all I need to know. 11, that's infinite. Eleven is actually infinite. I just keep on doing the same gameplay. I think that, you know, eventually, like I'm not using resources to do this. They are because they have to chum block this. And granted, any what's this? Well, I guess if they play prismatics, they play Thrab and charm. I think about this. I think I have to counter spell. This way I can't afford to just never block. Sorry, to never have to play prismatic strands. And I have two counter spells, so I think it's fine. And again, there's not that many things that I'm scared of countering, like of letting a result. Like if they, they resolve this, I have a journey in end. If I guess two of that would be the worst case scenario, but it's not likely that two in end. I don't know how many Thriving Inspector they resolve this game, but the number is very high. Like, this game is gonna go ahead for a while. What can I find that stops this game? Squadronok? Yeah, Squadronok. It's not necessarily. What's this? Battle Screech. Sure. I'm gonna click zero and go to the end step. I was like, timer can be a thing. I can lose a timer, but I have 11 minutes. It's a lot. I can see myself losing a timer. All right, let's play this. Draw three. Hmm. Actually, now I can't double pump and leave up counter spell, but I don't think I need to leave up counter spell. That's the thing, right? I don't need to leave up counter spell.
I want to pump both, actually, and play a cat. Yeah, I think that's better. This way I still have the prismatic strands. And this way they want to... They can't single chump. They have to, like, either take 18 or... All right, sure. Okay, they draw Journey. Can I do a quick count on how much damage opponent has? 8, 11, più 5... 4, 15, 20. So they have 20 damage. Sure, I'm not gonna do anything. They have no cards in hand, so they can't have a pump spell. Up for 28, gain 28, pass. Let me show attack with both. Oh, that was, that was wrong, yeah. I didn't realize there were two life. I'm gonna brainstorm end of turn. I know it's not a great play or anything, but I think in my turn I don't have a window to cast it. Alright. The Squadron Ock will be the way I'm getting out of this quickly. So attack with two lethal threats, and now you have to double chum block. And then I'll play Squadron Knock. And pass. Two, 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 two. Next turn, I'm gonna have. Uh... Next turn, I'm gonna have two lethal threats with the fly. All right, my opponent didn't leave any flyer back. Oh no, never mind. They have one. Well, I'm gonna try to kill it with Journey to Nowhere. And then obviously they're gonna have prismatic strands, but I hope they don't have it. So I get a lethal threat. I guess I don't even need to oh yeah, I need to pump it. So there are three. Alright, they conceded. Cool. Alright. So we're two and one here. That's cool. I'll continue the video on YouTube. Okay. I'd love to say this is round number four, but it isn't, because actually MTGO closed the league, so I started a new one. So we're gonna play one, maybe two matches. So I'm just gonna say record 2-1, but again, it is a different day, and uh, yeah, there was the Bloom Borrow update, so here we are. Anyway, same deck, of course. Same uh, combo. Look at my hand. My hand is amazing. Turn two Auk. Turn three, ideally brainstorm Auk. To draw like a basic island. Very few basic land in this deck though.
Okay, that's BG combo. Black green combo. One of the one of the best decks at the moment. One of the reasons for the red spread. Oh, I want to see how this matchup is. Of course, I have uh, some removal spells, but not too much interaction. So maybe it's not enough. Thrab and Charm does exile enchantment. Sorry, destroy enchantment. Maybe exile. I actually don't know about it. Anyway, we gotta draw lands next turn. We can also pick up three of this and discard this, but. I don't think in this matchup, Prismatic Strength matters. Alright. What's my play here? Because obviously with a top land, I can just go top land Orc. I think I'm going to go top land Orc. I know that I could uh, make more value by going like... Brainstorm Orc. But I don't have a land anyway to do it in one turn. I'm just fine and doing it next turn does have like another bad card to shuffle away it's not that i need to keep this well that will rumble okay you land or refractor refractor is important to filter the infinite mana that you get with the combo same thing for star all right let's go for a brainstorm now Shuffling away. Oh, mamma mia, che schifo, se carte. Uh, actually, actually, what if I just pump here? If I pump, I'm gonna do 4 6, you go 13. I'm gonna get another orc. And then I'll play Seagate. And I'll tap for two. Obviously here it could be dead, but there is not that many ways I could have played around it. I didn't draw counter spell, I didn't draw Grab and Charm. If you kill me, you kill me. Green, or less. Basking Brood Scale. Black. Sadistic Glee. Is there a reason why you get birds one at a time? Yes, you don't want to go to discard. Okay, so they have infinite mana. This is the combo. Basking Bird Scale plus Sadistic Glee. And they have infinite, infinite colors mana. To start, they have infinite... Colors mana plus two colored. And the way to win is the three one that you pay eight to do three damage. Let's see if they have it. Nope, they go deathly dispute. Okay. Make a treasure. Wow, that's a weird treasure. Is that chocolate treasure? Chocolate bear? They cycle the star. They have more black mana. They play the dispute. They have eight cards. They play forest. They play malevolent rumble. Malevolent rumble. Let's see if they flip the three one. They don't. They flip the Eco Wellspring and they can draw a card. Seven cards. Seven cards in end. Let me get a bunch of mana. Let's see what they do with it. 
five coros floating. They have two treasures. Seven cards in end. I don't know. I don't know what can they have there. Black. Is that another dead of the dispute? It's a duress. Okay. You take journey? Mm-hmm. They get black mana. They play duress. Okay, so they ran out of a uh, cooler, so I'm assuming this is over. They pass here. I guess you can grow this to a 20. Or whatever my next play here. I can go brainstorm. Sh sh I can go brainstorm for sure. Uh, do I want to? Yeah, let's go brains. Hmm. So I can also just go. Yeah, let's, okay, okay, let's do it. Brains. Now, I can shuffle away two cards forever. When this prismatic strands, two is Wallor revealed. No, actually, right? Because I want to go. I guess I'm just gonna go Sacred Cat and pump with Basil's Gate. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll do like this. When is on 17? Hey, next turn, how much damage can I deal? Cinque, sei, sette. So if I attack with all... Okay, let me think. Do they have removal spells in their deck? Let me check a list. Of that. No, it has to be green, black. They don't play creatures. They don't play removals. So I just stay back with a cat only. You get a 9 and next turn you die. Oh shit, I didn't see that. Okay, I guess we learned a new a new a new thing is that you need to keep multiple blockers back. Alright, GG. I didn't know that. Okay. Learning, always learning. I'm gonna bring your remote soul and standard bearer. It's very good because you have to enchant this. What do I set out? Holomatic sucks. Journey also bad. I guess I'll have this spell. Sorry, I said journey bad. I meant prismatic strands. Mulligan? Keep. Go. Do -do -do. Go. Now I can go brainstorm and then Laura revealed in upkeep. I think it's fine. Don't even know what I wanna what I wanna shuffle though. 
Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna go brainstorm. I'm just gonna go learn, learn reveal. That's it. No, that's not true. I'll go brainstorm. I want to shuffle to island to get an island. Doesn't make much sense. I'm okay. I'll draw. I'll go land. Modern age. Cat from the graveyard. Kind of wasted a brainstorm, but um, yeah, I feel like I needed to dig it a bit deeper to find combos with modern age. I should bring a deep analysis too. All right, I'm gonna jam the coalition honor guard here. Probably this card alone revealed. Now, if they want to statistically, I have to target the Collision Honor Guard. And obviously, we have enough out and shit, but whatever. I'll play it. They concede. Looks like they decided in zero answer to Collision Honor Guard, which you have two of Standard Bearer and Collision Honor Guard are both the same card. They're both Flag Bearer that you have to target. Now they will have enough outs. Because they had their game to configuration had zero answer to my flag bears. I didn't think about it. I think Journey is actually bad in this matchup. Unlikely that I can snag a, a creature. All right, succeed. I lost game one because obviously, if I just left back a uh, squadron knock, it would have been in a good shape. But it is what it is. Let go. Rumble, rumble. You got root skill, okay. Pretty unlucky, but it's okay. I think I'm gonna go idyllic beachfront simply because I may want to just need double white for these cats. And leaving up mana for spell peers, don't think it's great. Maybe I could have like played it on the energy refractor there. But... I think I've been good on the duress here. I have seven spells in it. If you duress me, I don't care. Dai, mi sta terra, ma ti caro. Dai, land. Hey, vaffanculo, va. There's like so many cantrips, too. Like, there's so many luck deck in Pauper, and this is definitely not one of them. So, when you miss land trips like this, it's like. Are you to arrest me? Seven spells. This is where Distress Spell sucks because like what do you what are you even doing here? <laughs> they took counter spell, okay. They play brute skill. Four cards in end. Draw squad or knock that. Yo, porca madosca, give me a land. E va cagare.
the class. Sadistically, Root scale. Adapt. Okay, so it looks like my opponent can't combo. So despite I'm struggling, they are not finding their combo. So it is just being very, very weak about it. It was just a 3-3 attacking. On the land. Now, I think I'm just going to go Thrub and Charm, kill the Brood Scale. Oh, you have a Protection Spell in end. Okay. Okay, third brood skill and adapt. Okay. Take six down to eleven. Brawl end. Flashback cat. Think I want to play modern age here? So dig deeper. Double block. Double block, trade this for that, gain a life, take six, so I'll go to six. And then we'll see what happens. Obviously I'm dead whenever they draw statistically, but whatever. Snuff out. What a terrible death. What a terrible death. Maybe we should have just gone double awk here. It would have been better. I have to chump anyway, and the life gain doesn't matter. Yeah, it would have been better. Been a mistake. Go to three. Modern Age flips. I need to draw. It's okay. Yeah, not. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely play very wrong last turn because I could have had an extra creature this turn. Chump chump. 
I draw a collision on a guard, I can still I can still win. I think that's officially over. I'll just suicide myself. Alright. I'll stop it here.